useful. Right, okay, I just want to start off by talking about why literacy is a really big priority. I'm not going to spend long on it because it's been coming up in every single meeting we've been at since the start of September. And actually, this isn't something new this year. As you know, Neil and James did an awful lot of work on it last year. So it is a very, very important thing. And just very quickly to outline the reasons why. If you have poor literacy skills, you can't learn. You use language to articulate your understanding, you use language to gain your understanding in the first place, whether it's through conversation or reading or communicating it through writing. So we need literacy to be able to access all the other areas of the curriculum. As we heard last night and as we already know, um, there is a particular mark, QWC, for literacy all across the curriculum, anyone who uses writing in their examined subjects. But also, there's other aspects of literacy that are essential to success in the GCSEs, and that is being able to read the exam paper, to know what actually is required of you in the answer that you produce, writing to explain, writing to evaluate, writing to compare, all of that. That's not the QWC mark, but that is literacy as well. And apologies for using that word, but Ofsted, they are really, really looking for it when they come into schools. And it's kind of evolved since literacy was first introduced, maybe 10, 15, whatever, years ago. When I first led literacy in year 2000, um, it was about things like having vocabulary on the walls, which is all well and good. But the sorts of things that Ofsted are going to be asking now when they come in is how is that vocabulary explored with pupils? How do you teach it to make sure they understand the word root, the spelling, that kind of thing? These are actual questions that Ofsted will ask when they come in. They'll also be looking for these things, and this is all about accuracy. It's about picking students up when they use poor grammar in their speech. It's about, as you're going around the room, making sure that you are flagging up the literacy, making sure they're using capital letters, making sure they're using words correctly. And also, when you're marking, marking for literacy as well. <clears throat> okay, I just want to share with you some of the priorities for Brookfield School for this year. Okay? As we know, the average child um, who comes into school should be on a level 4B at the end of Key Stage 2. Okay? Just to coin a phrase that was used by Andrew last night, that doesn't mean they're secondary ready. Okay? 4B still means you need support with your reading. So what we need to focus on is how we're going to give support to those average students who actually aren't ready to fly independently when it comes to their literacy. Another priority for the school is about reading for pleasure. Lots of things we're going to be promoting over the year, and in a minute I'm going to mention two of them to you. Um, there's an awful lot of good practice going on across the curriculum. It's about sharing that and building on it. Recently um, I did a book audit. I had a look um, at what the areas are that need to be addressed with the students' literacy. And what I was mainly looking for was particular things, a few key things that we could target that would be relevant to year seven and maybe right the way up to the top end of year nine. And I did find some things that if we all target will make a difference. But while I was doing that book audit, I also found some outstanding practice, some really good stuff. <laughs> Please don't stop doing that. What we'd like to do is, is share that and maybe build on this basic thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and that is to do with assessment. Now this may lead into some staff training, and if when you look at this in a minute, you've got one of these in your pigeonholes, all of you, if when you look at this you think, well, I don't, I'm not actually confident with that, I could do with just having that clarified, please, please do let me know, because we'll build it into staff training. So, assessment. <clears throat> what I've done is not create, this is what literacy is all about. So this card that you'll find in your pigeonholes is not everything there is to do with literacy. What this is, is some key areas that I think all staff could address while they're marking and while they're teaching. This card is for you to stick to your planner or somewhere in your classroom, have on your person, to use as a kind of aid memoir. You talked about this in your meetings just the other day, about how you'd like to use them in your classroom, whether you'd like a big poster, whether you'd like placemats, whether you'd like this to go in the planners, that kind of thing. <coughs> This is for you to use as a prompt as you're going around the room, talking about, obviously, your subject-specific objective, but also to check things like homophones, things like capital letters, things like full stops. These are the absolute basics. 
okay? Apostrophes for possession aren't on there. Colons and semicolons aren't on there. Those are the icing on the cake things. These are the basics. If everybody did a push on these, just mentioning it in your starter, mentioning it, having it as a focus of your settling activity as they come into the room, it really would make a difference. And these are relevant to top set year nines as well as the very low ability year sevens, all across. Okay, reading for pleasure I mentioned a couple of uh, minutes ago. I just want to mention two dates. Next week, if you go into the library with your favourite book and have your photograph taken and then tell Helen in a sentence or two sentences why it's your favourite book, we will be able to update those films that were made a couple of years ago and we'll get it on the screen in reception and all around the school so that the students can see that we all do enjoy reading. And that's not just teaching staff. I'd like the site team to be doing it. I'd like the ladies in the canteen to be doing it. I'd like everyone to be doing that. If we have everyone talking about a book that they like, just a sentence, you don't even have to write it down, just tell Helen and she'll produce it for you. That, I think, would be excellent. All tutors, you have received a PowerPoint overnight that I'd like you to show to your tutor group either today or tomorrow. And it's basically saying the same thing to them. If they can go into the library at any point next week with their favourite book, have their photograph taken, then um, there will be a prize for the PD group that has the most people taking part. With staff, there will be a prize for the department that has the highest percentage of staff taking part as well. The other day, World Book Day, 6th of March, I'm just giving you a lot of notice on this so that you can be mulling it over. Um, it would be really good if all members of staff were dressed as a book character on that day. And on that note, I will bow out. <laughs>